Now, before we get started, guys, follow my Instagram. Over on my Instagram, I post sneak peek of what's pretty much is coming up next on the channel. Um, pretty much if I do giveaways in the future, it's going to be done through there. And if you guys have questions and everything, you guys can ask me through my Instagram and uh, I'll be able to reply to you guys. So my Instagram will be right here down below and I'll post it up in the video somewhere. So let's get to it. How's it going to YouTubers? This is your one and only Python Versus here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Acro P2 over here. Now, I've been hearing a lot of talks, a lot of hype over the Acro P2. And, of course, the great memes that it came out of it uh, pretty much being the mailbox uh, optic. <laughs> but I mainly just wanted to test it out and see what the hype was about pretty much on this Reflex site. So, um, after a few rounds of testing it out, I'm still not used to it, by the way. Uh, I can land my shots with it, but due to the window being so small, um, not like the, you know, the SRO or, you know, all these other optics that have wide windows the window on this is kind of small so that's one downside to it but main reason i brought it was because it's like it's like people said this thing is supposedly bomb proof um i was gonna get the acro p1 but the problem with the acro p1 was the battery life a lot of people were complaining that the acro p1 is pretty much just dog shit when it comes to the battery life so kind of waited on that um and then that's when a lot of my friends picked up on the on the Acro P2, um, they switch over and <laughs> they they tend to love the Acro P2 now. So I went through and I, I just wanted to see what the hype was all about with the Acro P2. Now it does come at a hefty price. Now is the price worth it? Um, for the 600 bucks that I pay for for this optic, what you're getting is reliability. Reliability. And what I mean by that is, it's like I said, this thing is bomb proof. It's not going to, you know, you, you can drop this. The optic's still going to be going. Rainy storm or anything like that. Um, the optic is still going to be working perfectly fine. So when it comes to that, the price tag, I feel that it comes towards how duty proof. <laughs> like pretty much you can use, you, you know, uh, sheriffs, police officers. They can use this perfectly fine and not worry about it breaking on them when they are on duty. So... That's, that's where I feel the price tag comes in on this. Um, now, it does have some pluses, and that is that it gets fairly bright. And when I say bright, I mean I put this thing up to the max, and it was kind of, on this sunny day, it was super bright. Now, obviously, on some handguns, you will have to get a mounted plate for the Aimpoint Acro. Uh, for me, I had to get, you know, a plate myself from my staccato over here, um, because obviously... You know, the staccato, they tend to, I think the only optic that you can fit on a staccato is pretty much the Delta Point Pro without having no issues, you know, without needing a plate or anything like that. But when it comes to, you know, staccato and I think even Glocks or anything like that, you will need a plate to mount this Aimpoint Acro. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. So in terms of your paying, not just for the optic, you're also paying for the plate, which is a total of what? You pay 600 bucks for the optic and then $100 for the plate. So it's like I said, man, you have to figure things out in terms of like, is it worth it for you? Do you actually need this type of optic, um, you know, for the price tag that you're going to pay for? Um, like I said, it's bomb proof. So if you're in it for reliability, then of course I say it's worth it. Um, for me, there's other optics that can do the same exact thing as the aim point. All right. Um, for example, I'm hearing a lot of good things about the MPS. Everybody that has rocked an MPS has told me like, Hey, this is reliable. It does the same thing, um, as the aim point acro and it's just great. All right. So there are a lot of optics out there that have, you know, pretty much the same features as the aim point. Um, but you also got to think about the name, you know, it's like Apple, for example, you know, they're a big shot when it comes to cell phones, but there's multiple cell phones. There's, there's a lot of things of the same or even more than what an iPhone does. So think about that aim point. They are proven and reliable. So you gotta, you kind of have to think about that too as well. Um, but other than that, I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting used to this optic. Um, it, like I said, even though the small window is there and, you know, it's, it's not the best window, you know, compared to other optics, like I said, the SRO. Oh, I couldn't find the fucking dot. Um, I, I kind of felt blind when I first started shooting this and, you know, missing my shots and everything and trying to find the dot. So that's another thing. When it comes to a reflex sight um, on a pistol, I'm kind of trying my best to get used to that, trying to find the dot. But overall, it's like as soon as I get it down pack, uh, like here and there, there'll be times that I get myself in the group and I'm like, all right, there's the, there's the dot, you know. Um, 
it's not like my SRO, like I said, the window is so big that as soon as you, you know, pop your handgun up, you <laughs> red dot is right there. With this one, I actually have to look for and actually find the red dot. Um, but once you get used to it, like I said, once I get used to it, that dot should be already there. Um, I'm still, I'm, yeah, so I'm still messing around with it. Um, but like I said, man, it, you have to think about things like this when making a purchase um, on the Aimpoint Agro. Now, is it a bad optic? No, it's not. It's not. This would be perfect for like a sub gun, in my opinion. Like if you, you know, if you have a sub gun over there, like a MPX or a freaking MP5 or anything like that, there are there are options, you know, for mounting it to, you know, sub guns and uh, SBRs and things like that. This would be perfect for those. You got the buttons here on the side. Um, which are pretty much they're tough buttons too. So it's like, you know, you they're guaranteed to work You're all right. They're guaranteed to work um, You press you know, you press your button to lower the you know The brightness and then press the button up to turn up the brightness But overall the buttons on that on on the freaking Acura itself. They're guaranteed man. They're tough So also you got the battery right here the battery compartment that you could put in there But yeah, we'll see if I keep it in terms of the staccato like I said it, <laughs> I brought it just to give it a try test it out and see because a lot of my friends they have it they said it is fantastic for them um and it looks great on a staccato here so that's one of the main reason why i brought it because i'm like damn that looks sexy on a staccato um but other than that like i said i i, I felt blind when i first freaking start started trying this out um uh, i'm so used to the sro that i'm like uh anyways guys i'll give you guys an update on the acro p2 if it stays or if it goes um if you guys like these type of content in terms of like you know red dots you guys want me to do reviews on any other red dots just let me know like subscribe to the channel and hit that noti bell icon and uh share it with a friend um but yeah comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the aimpoint acro p2 is it one of those you know reflex sight that you guys will put on a pistol do you guys like it um let me know down below let me know what you guys think of it Anyways, guys, this is Python Versus. Take care out there. And stay dangerous. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take.